Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Thursday, March 8th. I'm Jesse Shaw, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The junior class is sponsoring a fundraiser at Pit Stop Car Wash. Enjoy deeply discounted car washes. The fundraiser will go from tomorrow to Sunday. See Mr. O'Flaherty to get your discount code for your car wash. Attention seniors, Jostens will be on campus delivering caps and gowns and graduation announcements during power hour today and tomorrow. Payments made at pickup must be made with cash or a money order. Senior class is having its first Mario Kart tournament. Tickets will be sold on Monday and the tournament will be held on Wednesday. For further information, see Fee Duong or Mr. Henderson. For the junior girls, powder puff practice will be held on Friday in the practice field starting at 345. The boys' first dance practice will be on Tuesday in the chorus room. If you would like a full schedule for all the practices, see Mr. Klett in room 3101. Not a Daily Man with a segment regarding the Strawbridge Art Show. This past weekend, West Shore students submitted art for the Strawbridge Art Festival. Um, it's an art show, a local art show that was hosted at the um, the museum, the Fusner Art Museum. Uh, they have students participate every year in different categories and win prizes. It's a showing, yeah. Uh, I submitted a piece I made for um, my AP art class with Henderson. It's uh, traditional with oil pastels. I call them fancy crayons because that's what they are. Uh, it's a uh, kind of an abstract surrealist piece. I like to leave them up to interpretation. So uh, I really don't know. When I was there, they were like calling up the names, and I was like, "Did they make a mistake? Did they miss the honorable mention?" Because I really <laughs> don't think I deserve first place. But. Um, I think maybe it was because uh, the one thing that was different about my piece compared to everybody else's is uh, maybe the lack of, um, not formality, but uh, cleanness, something, I don't know, it's kind of a rough piece and I guess you can see that there's like thought that went into it, not that the other pieces don't have thought, but yeah, you would understand if you saw it. <laughs> um, Mr. Henderson basically gave every art student an opportunity to put their art pieces that they chose into the art show. And overall, we had 11, places, 11 students placed out of 20 places in the art show. So I put two art pieces in. One was a drawing of a yellow lab and it was just laying on the ground. It was a picture I took when I went to the Keys over the summer. And then I put another piece in that was pictures of Mahi from after we went fishing. And they were just all laying across the uh, concrete, but we had an extreme perspective project that we had to do in AP art. So we just decided that that was one of my better pieces because it was acrylic and because all the colors were really bright and vibrant. So it came out as one of my better pieces. And when I put it in the show, that was actually the one that got placed. So it was good. It was a good show. This has been Daily Man reporting for WCTZ News. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News. This has been Jesse Shaw. Have a lovely day, Wildcats.